Hi, today we are at Camp 4, a climbing gym in Warsaw, where I sit quite often. It's like one of the biggest climbing facilities in Poland. And I have to set two comp style boulders. We have a lot of good stuff here. Got some IX volumes, large holds, P wall holds, blue pill holds, so only good stuff. Everything that's left is to set some awesome boulders. We have to decide two things. I want one of the boulders to be like a little bit easier and one a little bit harder. And I have to decide on which wall I want to set each boulder. We have this quite a nice slab with yeah. a top out and another is a vertical wall over there. This time I'm going to let the holds and Magda decide. The black one will be a vertical wall and the yellow one will be a slab and now I want Magda to decide on which uh, wall we want to set an easy boulder. This one. Okay. What did I win? Slab. <laughs> easy boulder will be on the slab. We will start with the slab because it's an easier boulder. I think that I have a general idea. It will be like getting up to the press, standing up to the no hand, some kind of dynamic move to the jug somewhere here, landing on this big <coughs> IX volume, then some like kind of sketchy footwork, probably still no hand, and going to top out with some underclink on the way. So I will see what I have so far. Uh, the first part kind of worked, uh, but then it's definitely not easy. I think it's like kind of fixable. So I think it wasn't bad. I made a few adjustments to make this boulder a little bit more pleasant and a little bit into the grade that I'm looking for. The first move can be done in many different ways, but the hardest part will be probably trusting this volume. Okay. Next move you can do dynamically or if you prefer, you can do it completely statically. Then there is a part that requires a little bit of balance. After putting your feet here, it's all about finding a good position. As long as your hips are close to the wall, it's easy to reach to the next hole. Once again, you can do it a little bit dynamically, or if you prefer, you can do it completely statically. The rest is pretty straightforward. Once again, you have to trust the volume. And 
go straight up for the top. I think it's quite okay. There are definitely more betas than what I did just now. It's doable completely statically. I think it's good. This builder is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to look good, like you look at it and you want to climb it. The difficulty of this builder is more in finding position than in like having strength or power. So I think it will be doable for many people and I think they will have fun on it. It's time to set another builder. This one will be for a little bit more advanced climbers. I will be using blotch fiberglass volumes and two very big T-wall plywood volumes. I, will, I don't have a particular idea what to do. I think I will put volumes on the wall, then add starting holes and see what will come to my mind. Is this a start? Hopefully. So this is what I came up with. So the first move is more like an introduction. It's not very hard. The first hard part is matching here and grabbing the volume. The volume isn't bad, isn't good, but you have to know how to hold it. Another part is grabbing the left spikes, finding good position to bump further, and then to grab another one, you have to work nicely with your right leg here, so you will generate a force in the opposite direction. After reaching the left yellow hold, I think the easiest way is to shoot your leg to the next hold and then put the right, hand, uh, right leg a little bit higher. Next move isn't bad if you will use enough pressure on the right foot, then you go into undercling and then go to the uh, I mean like not very good, not very bad spikes on the volume. Next you have to swap your feet, find once again a good position with your hips close to the wall and press to the last relatively good hold. Mantle at the end isn't very hard compared to the rest of the boulder. You just have to trust your heel on this black volume and then the top out very doable. What's left to do is to test it and see if it works. But uh, I have high hopes. I think that all the moves are doable. They shouldn't be super hard, but should be quite hard. And well, let's see. So I'm also content with this boulder. This one is much harder than the previous one. It definitely requires some power, some good positioning, but I think it will be a nice challenge for, for stronger climbers. 